Hello and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures, where it's time for something very different this evening. We're here in Buxton for a visit to the Opera House to go and see the 20th anniversary tour of Dick and Dom in Da Bungalow. I'm so excited. Childhood memories. Who remembers watching that show and dreaming of being in the bungalow with Dick and Dom, doing all the different tasks on there, all the funny things. I tell you what, I am absolutely loving um, the fact that they're doing this tour and we've come to see it tonight. It's going to be such a laugh we can't wait it ran between 2002 and 2006 and over that period of time there was actually over 260 episodes and to be honest charlotte i think i saw every single one I of them i saw quite a lot of them to be honest <laughs> i literally used to make sure that i was there every weekend and uh, to go and watch it i'd make sure i'd take my friends or oh, not free uh, dick and dom and the bungalows on i'll meet up afterwards you know it's that kind of thing it's the, probably the show that i've loved the most um, over all these years it was a big part of my childhood growing up and tonight we've come to see it live because it's it's been 20 years, well it's actually 21 years uh, because this was originally going to be on last year and I've started it uh, literally last month in March 2023. So it's 21 years, I but it's, the, it's been I know, that long. the 20th anniversary show of uh, Dick and Dom in the Bungalow. And I remember when it started, and obviously over the years there was quite a few controversies with the show, uh, encouraging people to go out shouting bogeys. That's something <laughs> that people still do to this day. They do, yeah. I'm guessing there'll be some of that tonight as well. Of course there will be. We've got some bogeys, we've got some creamy muck muck, I'm sure, in there, and lots of other classic moments that we remember from the show as well so it's going to be really good fun and yeah we're in the Buxton Opera House which is the venue you can see just in the distance there behind us really nice actually here in Buxton only about 40 minutes or so away from where we live uh, but we're really looking forward to this tonight are you two coming to watch the show as well? <laughs> now with this, they've actually got a lot of the audience involved because just last week, they actually sent out an email with anybody who wanted to be involved in the show, which is good, and you can fill out an application form and get picked to be in it. It was like, you will be covered in slime, <laughs> and every time I was like, no. <laughs> I'll happily watch people do that. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. I've never been to the Buxton Opera House before either, and yeah, this is the venue just over here on the left-hand side. I tell you what, when's it going to warm up? It's freezing oh, tonight. It's so cold. Hopefully it'll be nice and warm in here. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. And yeah, we're going to be able to share some highlights from the show for you all in this video tonight, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. So we're going to make our way around into the venue and we're about to go and see Dick and Dom in the bungalow. I can't believe it. I was a massive fan. When this tour was announced, I booked my tickets straight away. Uh, I was always hoping for a reunion of the actual show on TV. I think it would have been good to kind of do a remake of it. But to be honest, a lot of the stuff, would they get away with that on TV now? I don't think, I so. Don't think so. You know, it was on CBBC. And I, I remember at the time there was a lot of controversies. I think that was one of the reasons why it stopped yeah, actually. So. You know, should we be teaching kids this sort of stuff? You know, yeah. but it's going to be full of adults in here remembering really the childhood. childhood yeah, it's going to be great this is, but so uh, we're going to make our way in. It looks beautiful, this theatre. What a location to come and see a show like this. The Buxton Opera House over here. Yeah, lots of parking just around the corner if you come in here to see any shows as well. And yeah, it's still touring over the next few months, this performance, if you do want to come and see it. Let's go make our way inside. And we'll get seated. What a venue. Here's a look then inside the theatre itself. And yeah, we've already got a game of uh, bogeys going on here before the show. <laughs> oh, and there's a look at the set just over there as well. Looks just like the bungalow, of course, that we all remember from on the TV. I cannot believe it's been 20 years since it started. And over 260 episodes. But yeah, you got the screen at the back just there. The sofa, there's the lift over on the right hand side there as well. And yeah, we've got a great view down here in the stalls. <laughs> oh, love it. We've got a great view, Charlotte. We are really close. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> oh, beautiful venue. Look at the history of this in here. All the chandeliers, the architecture. I've forgotten how good a seat I got down here, actually. I couldn't remember. It's really good. Yeah, fantastic. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully, we get the commentator for bogeys. Remember, it's like, and it's a oh, 1.2 yeah. on the bogey scale. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, every last one of them is here tonight. Apart from next door's night. <laughs> Very sadly, he can't make it this evening as, while minding his own business, was popped into the recycling by Captain Lundell. And, uh, fortunately, he was rescued by a Premier League footballer. Unfortunately, it was Kurt Zuma. <laughs> the Turtles head married a pig in 2003 and, as we all know, moved to Anglesey. Would love to have been here this evening, but passed away in 2009 and is still dead. 
realise idiots who saw it just before Covid got his wrist trapped in a tin opener, fell backwards up against the sink, skidded on a cheap sandwich, struck his teeth on the carpet, and died of a massive subtemal heritage. Boys and girls, please welcome those lords of chaos, those masters of mayhem. Not the Ministry of Mayhem, that was a pile of old bum sick. It's the irreplaceable, the irrepressible, the totally skint, Dick and <laughs> Ended. 
Neither. Neither, neither. Neither. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, Pushcat, Pushcat, where have you been? Well, funny you should ask, because today I've been to Buxton. <laughs> Ivy and it rhymes with nothing at all. It's the highest market town, a thousand feet above the sea. First place in Tim Taylor, goody goody. Visit the limestone caves, no matter what the weather. Drink the local spring water, it'll make you live forever. Come to Boston Town, a place of high renown. Fill your bottle up and put it down. You're in Stoke on With your dearly beloved daddy. Yes. Uh, how is he? He's dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And uh, so is Raven Newsreader. He's dead. Yes, he's dead. Raven Newsreader's dad? De he yes, he's dead. He's dead. Same, same dad. Same but, dad for all of us. But, oh, uh, it's not my dad. But, no, not your dad. But, 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 but you're not dad or dead, <laughs> are you? You're not dead. No. no, I tried it for a bit, but it didn't suit me. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yogurt. <laughs> Ice cream. Whipping <laughs> cream. Oh, look. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you, 
What are you doing? <laughs> Where are you? Not you again. Causing trouble. <laughs> One, two, three. You see? <laughs> That's, That's a standard disappointing four point oh, She hasn't done it yet. <laughs> Mandy! That's a marvellous six point two. <laughs> Someone up there in the circle, come on then, hands up who's going to do it. Go on, you're first. Stand up on your hind legs. Go on. Give, give it somebody. What? Oh, there's two. Okay, go on then, off to One, two, three. It's <laughs> a marvellous 6.2. <laughs> I'm setting the bar high with a 9.9. Nine. Right, come on this side. Oh, classic. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Everybody, 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 yeah, you. Uh, one, two, three. Dick strikes back. His side achieve a nine point nine nine. Yeah. Oh. Right then, everybody, all down here, all down there, all up there, all up there, all up there. Okay, right. Here we go. Top of the All of you bucks in one, two. Ellen and James will flap their arms and they will sweat. The person that sweats the most, sweat out of their sweaty canister, will do the winner of 500 bungalow points. 500 again, we're going big yeah. again. Yeah. 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 Tell you what, we're having so much fun so far. It's a real throwback, and the bungalow heads are absolutely awesome. Just in the interval now, a bit of bogeys going on. Love that crowd interaction as well with bogeys. You enjoying it so far, Charlotte? Oh, it's so much fun. Bogeys! <laughs> what a throwback. Honestly, really I, I think we got a little legend coming in in the second oh, half. Just whoa, 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 what's going on there? <laughs> uh, it's going to be good. Done a great job. Proper great throwbacks. I love the songs as well. I've done a custom song for each one. But yeah, time for part two. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this person is currently in last place on the leaderboard. Oh. Please show your appreciation for the underwhelming effort that's been put in so far by Connor Cross, age 25 from London, as he does the pants day! Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. 
Come on, get out of here. Oh, uh, take your wig, take it, take, take one. Right then! Oh yeah, you're chosen. Uh, done. Oh, nice. Oh. Was it Sneedy? Sneedy. I think it was Sneedy. Sneedy. Oh. Because you're a bit cheap when you only watch repeats. <laughs> you don't watch the what? I couldn't help it, I was too young. Yeah, they could have done it by ultrasound or something like that. No, no excuses. <laughs>
right at the bottom, are you ready? Okay, Harry, over to you. All right, this is the view towards now. All right, so the dumps are all over the cream seat. How'd you do it? Well, he came at me, I went back at him. We were, uh, to be honest, it's just another pub scuffle. He went, he, he wanted beer, I wanted water, and he was like, why are you after water? I said, why are you after beer? Oh, I... You don't have to ask me these questions, I don't have to ask you why you want beer and I want water. So it was all a question of beer and water, was it? <laughs> it was, pretty much. And then I really threw him when I ordered a juice. Really? Yes. Yeah. And he said, oh, you're having vodka with that orange? I said, see? not even have an orange. Uh, I can see how that might scare some people. <laughs> So he started getting wound up because I was a bit sarcastic. So he threw his beer, I threw my juice and my water. And right, he punched. okay. It was the word.
first one wrong? She just said, I, the first word was actually knockers, she said knickers. Did she? Yep. It's knockers, not knickers. It's knockers, not knickers. So no, it couldn't be knickers, it's knockers. We have to stop there. The same here! Hello! <laughs> right, stop looking at the cards. Right, let's carry on. Don't push it in! Make it worse! Carry on. Right! <laughs> 45 really years old, look at the state. So wedged. Is it? Anyway. Right. Back to the game. Fart. 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 <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This one for the win.
some highlights there from Dick and Dom in the bungalow, the 20 year anniversary live tour here at the Buxton Opera House. And I tell you what, that was absolutely brilliant. Really nice throwback. And great to see Dick and Dom. They've hardly changed in 20 years. Honestly, they look exactly the same. <laughs> like nearly 50. I know. Like, they're amazing I for the race. If I look that good when I'm like 47, I'll be really happy. Uh, but no, I tell you what, it was brilliant. Really nice to have Harry Bat in there, all the throwbacks. <laughs> uh, the Stoke on Trent song was in there. I like how we had a custom song for Buxton as well. Lots of your favourite games, Creamy Muck Muck there at the end, uh, where they got absolutely covered. Dick and Don were getting covered in it yeah, as well. They were. And what was great about the size of the venue, really close to the action down there in the stalls. But no matter where you're sat, you'd be involved in that show. And it's really interactive, really fun. I liked how they did bogeys as well, interacting bogeys. with the audience with the big, uh, yeah, big kind of good. finger. That was fantastic. <laughs> Showing some clips of the show, of course, on TV as well. You can't really tell they were old clips because, like I say, they don't really look they that different look now. <laughs> but so, yeah, that was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. I think it's the nostalgia for me. Uh, you know, it takes me back to my childhood of watching that show every weekend. Uh, it was really good fun to kind of relive it with some big highlights and big moments. And there's not one part of it that I don't think they really talked about or covered in that, which no, is fantastic. Exactly. Uh, they didn't like miss anything from the show. Um, you know, everything was in there, which I really enjoyed. Everyone was just such having a laugh. We was just laughing the whole way through. It was brilliant. Yeah, it was all people our sort of age as well, because obviously now the kids of this day and age won't really know what to make no, of that, I don't think. Don't. You know, obviously 20 there's years ago. Like there's, there's nothing like it and it was very edgy for the, for its time you know obviously it was still a family friendly show tonight but and it always was family friendly on TV but there were certain things in there that it makes you look back on now and, and think like, how did they get away with that happen. you know in, in, in the way the world is now like you wouldn't be able to kind of teach kids to go around sticking stickers on people no, and, and all that kind of stuff and shouting bogeys and um, getting covered in things but yeah it was amazing the really games are really good fun um, all the bungalow heads were, were really good fun and getting involved as well which is uh, fantastic we know it's been a really good night it's something a bit different for you all this evening bit of a throwback bit of nostalgia but comment down below if you've come to see the show um, they're still let touring for the next uh, month or so I believe so yeah they've got quite a few tour dates all up and down the UK let us know if you go in and uh, I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time we've enjoyed it tonight show's got a runtime of about two hours and that's with a 30 minute interval as well so you're talking like two 45 minute halves if you're coming to see the performance well there we go overall a great fun evening here at the Buxton Opera House fantastic venue as well to come and see a show like this and it's always nice seeing live performances especially ones that definitely remind you of your childhood if as well if you are going to be going you're going to have such a good fun time you are indeed and you might even get picked out like you i say they do it in advance um you don't get covered in creamy muck muck or anything if you're in the audience but uh you yeah apply. you can apply for it and you might get picked out more for it but uh there we go thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your, your own, own adventures. adventures we'll see you in the next vlog